Good morning, welcome to the shed. So um, there's a few bits I need to make for my bench uh, so that we can do some woodworking. I bought a couple of saws at the local flea market a few months ago when lockdown, before lockdown, um, and I need to sharpen them. So I need a saw clamp. So today we're gonna make a saw clamp and then do a refurb on these in the next video. So the idea of a saw clamp is basically uh, to grip the saw blade as close to the teeth as possible to stop it vibrating when you're filing. I bought some decent files, so I should be okay on that. Only problem is my eyesight isn't very good, so I can't actually see the teeth, so I'll have to get the magnifying glass out. Anyway, so I've seen a few designs, um, and some of them use like a fancy hinging system so that you, you can clamp at the other end. Uh, problem with that is you then have to profile the clamp itself so that it squeezes together, taking into consideration the ang angle. So I thought, you know, you've only literally got two millimetres that you actually need, so why not go parallel like this and just uh, fill it out at the bottom with some packing pieces and it should clamp okay. I've, uh, so this is my design basically, I'm showing you my design. So I've uh, profiled the edges so they've got a bit of access. I've cut a slot here so that it can fit into my vise and I think the clamping pressure, I could be wrong, I think the clamping pressure on the middle there will be enough to clamp that saw in there properly using these jaws that I've also made. So the saw will be clamped in between there. I know it's not easy to see, but I don't see why that shouldn't work. Okay, so let's get over to the bench. Uh, I've, as I say, I've already cut the pieces, as you can see. I've just got two. Um, I'm going to screw at the bottom, glue at the top, uh, so we don't see any, any ugly screws protruding. Okay, let's get over to the bench and have a look. Well, we're already at the bench, but... A better angle. So these are the little insert pieces I've made. I cut these on the table saw. Um, so I'm just going to put a screw through, glue, screw again, two screws this time, each side, and then clamp the top in position. Hold on, there's somebody at the door. Okay. Little dab of glue. And I hold this steady. Okay, that's one. It's so nice to have a bench to work on. 
very, very nice indeed. Clean that up later. That's good. She all lines up. Beautiful. Okay, let's clean up that glue. Okay, so we're ready to glue up the top jaws. As I say, I've already made the pieces, so no need to show you that. Should be easy enough to clamp them in position. Plenty of glue on this bit. It doesn't have to take very much weight. It just literally squeezes, so it shouldn't be a problem. Grab. And just line them up and clamp it. Hopefully that'll give me enough clamping pressure to hold my saw. A little bit proud there. And there. Oops, sorry about that. Plenty of room for the handle. A little bit of a cutaway for the handle there as well, this bit here. So that's the maximum uh, depth of that bit there. Excellent, let's leave it to dry. Back to you in a bit. Let's go and get a coffee. I just wanted to show you what the pros do. Get the shavings to wipe your glue. There you go. Saves all the mess, apparently. And getting the grain all wet. Now I'm going to get that bit out of there, but that's okay. Okay, that's the basic construction done. I've given it a clean up. There was a few little bits that needed lining up. Sanded those. Oh, sorry, planed those and sanded those. Okay, let's give it a test. Right, bits. All we've got to do is check that it grips. There you go, that's not going anywhere. Let's just try a little file. Just check there's no vibration. Beautiful. Lovely, need to make some handles for the files. Okay, I'll give that a couple of coats of finish and then we'll uh, do a summary.
Okay, so it's had a couple of coats of finish and a couple of hours to dry. I've sanded it smooth. Obviously it's only a bit of workshop furniture anyway, so a workshop tool. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's nice to, to make it right. I didn't say that I used um, the uh, birch ply, that, the three quarter inch birch ply that I used for the, for the bench. So it's just basically using up a bit of that. Don't know if you can see that, but you can open that up on a centimetre or so, a uh, quarter of an inch. Uh, with no problem, so I think it does the job perfectly okay. Let me know if you think there's a flaw in my design. Maybe the others were just complicating it too much. It is just to hold your saw. It's a one-off piece of kit. That's all you use it for, nothing else. There you go, that's clamped tight. Next up is a refurb job on a couple of saws I've got. This one and another slightly bigger one that I've got on the uh, local flea market. So we'll have a go at sharpening those with uh, menu files and menu vice or menu clamp. Okay, thanks very much for watching. As usual, I'll leave some videos here for you to have a look at and you can subscribe as well. Thanks a lot, see you soon.